Hey guys, welcome back to Behind the Vine with Brendan. Uh, it is time for March Wine Clubs already. So kind of following the footsteps of the last couple of months with like doing a little bit of a different theme. So with last month's, we did grapes you've heard of from regions you probably have not heard of. And this month, we're doing grapes and or regions you've never heard of. So um, uh, think of, you know, very obscure grapes, very obscure regions. Uh, that's what I was shooting for this month. Um, again, it's just fun. I like, I, I want you guys to try new things and this is the best way to do it, to force you to try new things. So let's go. So as always, you get two reds and one white each month. These again are going to be hopefully things you're not super familiar with because that's the point. I want to force you to try new and fun stuff. So first up, from Greece, uh, the uh, producer is Butari. The appellation this comes from is Nausa. The grape is pronounced Zinomavro. It's a, um, picture this being a step or two up from Pinot Noir in body and a step or two up from Grenache in body, but kind of with the more unique side of Grenache without quite the fruit of Pinot Noir. As it starts to get a little bit nicer, these are gonna be much nicer wines as we still are, have some chilly nights and we want some red wine, but to have um, not quite the power and punch and weight and intensity of some of the bigger wines that we do in the winter. Um, so again, uh, Butari's Nausa Zeno Mavro. It's something I don't typically do, but I wanted to talk about these wines just because I think they're so unique and fun. The next wine, this is from Domaine Rollet. The um, appellation is called Arbois. This is within the Jura. So Jura, big region, um, Arbois, a little tiny region, and it really is a tiny little region just around the town of Arbois. Um, the grape is called Trousseau, um, a very unique grape. I've heard this stat before and I don't remember exactly what it is, but there's like 300 hectares of this grape in the world. Um, so not a whole lot. Um, so therefore they tend to be a little bit pricier and you know they are very unique in style, but they're awesome wines for food. Um, and so I wanted to taste it with you guys. You can sit here and taste it with me, hopefully. But look at that color. I mean, much more of a unique color. Um, why do I keep putting it in front of my face? I don't know. But a much more unique color. Um, it, is, it does have a couple years to it, which is great for Trousseau. Um, almost Pinot Noir-like in how light it is. Um, but it does have a little bit of like a coppery edge to it, um, which to me, that tells me a lot about the wine. Um, but I just want you guys to know that this is how the wine is and it's supposed to be and how it looks. Um, think of this as something even lighter than a Pinot Noir. Um, something that I would do with like a mushroom risotto with grilled chicken and grilled asparagus or something like that. So you get a little bit of this grill flavor um, to add to the chicken, but like a mushroom risotto, something with a little bit of weight and texture to it. Um, or if you can swing for truffles, go for truffles. Mm. You're really gonna like that wine. Um, again, kind of think of it as a Pinot Noir. It is very different and I get that. Um, but treat it kind of how you would treat a Pinot Noir as far as food pairings. And then, last up, this is um, a grape called Caracante. Caracante is, I mean, I don't think it's grown anywhere outside of Sicily and other little islands. Very, very unique. This is from vineyards overlooking the Strait of Messina. So this is really, I mean, this is right, that little, this is from that little strip where um, Italy's punting Sicily away. That little tiny strip there is called the Strait of Messina. So these are vineyards that are on Sicily overlooking Italy. And it's not that far. They're actually really, really close. 
Um, but so again, I just kind of wanted to show you um, it has a little bit more of a golden color to it. Caracante always gets a little bit more color, um, you know, especially from near Mount Etna. Um, this is something to treat as an alternative to a Chardonnay. Um, while not an oaky wine, um, it does have a lot of weight and a lot of texture to it. So you need to pair this with something with a little bit more richness. You could do a seafood with a butter sauce or a cream sauce. You could do grilled seafood, um, kind of with a similar preparation. I know I just said risotto a couple seconds ago, but again, a risotto, something with a little bit of heft to it um, is going to balance this all out very well. Again, mm, mm, the fruits really come alive today. Um, think of this again as a Chardonnay alternative with better fruit than I remember, even though I tasted it yesterday or the day before. Mm, good. So, guys, these are your wines for March. One more time, the Butari Nausa, Zeno Mavro. The From Jura, From Arbois Trousseau, from Domaine Rollet. And then from Le Casamate, Peloro, uh, just the name of their um, Caracante blend from Messina. Grapes and or regions you're not familiar with. Hope you guys love them all. Hope to see you soon. Cheers.